Hi, I'm Heather from Hia Booktubes, and this is Paranormal Romance Recommendations. I try not to have this just be fantasy or urban fantasy, so I try to stay away from that. And this is not Vampire or Shifter because they will have their own videos. So this is other paranormals. These are some of the best that I've read. First is the New Species series by Lauren Donner. An evil pharmaceutical corporation mixed animal DNA and human DNA and created new species. They're very similar to shifters except they don't actually shift and the whole series has an overarching battle between the pharmaceutical company and the new species. Each one is kind of a faded mates, true mates type of romance. The first one is the first ever new species and human relationship. So there is a big learning curve kind of for the whole species. Will this work? Will this not? How careful do you have to be with a human? Are you able to be with a human? Yada, yada, yada. New species essentially have their own country within the borders of the United States. They have diplomatic immunity. They have their own laws, their own government. The new species males are hot, they'll do anything for their mate, they're sweet, and the heroines are not just cut and paste, each one is different, each one looks different and acts differently, and I really enjoyed the whole series. There are currently 14 books out, and they're all good. Next is Burn by Suzanne Wright, and this is a urban fantasy demon romance. This also has true mates in it, faded mates, and basically our main character it ends up being the mate of the most powerful known demon. It was really well done. It was hot. There was some political intrigue. I just read this book this last month in April and did give it five stars and I look forward to continuing with the series. I've also read many other books by this author and enjoyed them all, so I do feel safe recommending the whole series even though I've only read the first book. Number three is Four Psychos, which is the first in the Dark Side series by Christy Cuttings. This is a rom-com. It is funny. It is a reverse harem, paranormal. You start with the main character not quite knowing what she is or why she's there. She's some type of ghost and she's only in existence around these four guys. The plot just gets bigger and bigger each and every book and I binge them all. Based on Melissa from She Is An Open Books recommendations, she recommended this in her Valentine's Day romance video and I was like, I've been thinking about reading that but I didn't want it to be too dark and gritty and here it was a rom-com and it was hilarious. Definitely still dark in it but it is really funny even though the cover just looks creepy. Number four is On the Edge which is the first in the Edge series by Alona Andrews. Alona Andrews is a husband and wife writing team who are most well known for their Kate Daniels series. I've read many books by them. On the Edge has a fey love interest and kind of a shifter love interest although that's not what they're called and a unique heroine. The Edge is essentially a small strip of land between the Feyland fairy and the modern world. And not just anybody can pass through. You have to have the right level of magic. Too little or too much and you can die trying to pass through the boundary. The Edgers are essentially just trying to make a living where they can't work in fairy and they can't work in the real world. It was a really interesting premise. I did really enjoy it. I've read a few books in the series. If you like Ilona Andrews' other series, this one is also really good. My last one is Shadow Rider by Christine Fion. This is a pretty well-known paranormal romance author, but this is my favorite series of hers. This first book is the first of her books that I read and it continues to be my favorite. Shadow Riders only happen from specific bloodlines and it literally is what it sounds like. They can use the shadows as tubes essentially to travel through and it's very much a mafia type romance except that they are more vigilante justice. They have a whole system on how they kill people without anybody knowing and it's always verified through their organization. 
that this person does in fact deserve to die and is guilty of the crime that they are accused of. Our hero is the head of the most powerful of these families and our heroine knows nothing about it and is so sweet. She's by far the sweetest of the heroines in this series. So if she's maybe a little too easygoing for you, later on in the series you do get heroines to are a little more involved in the world. She's my favorite, honestly. I loved it. And the family unit is really good in this. The parents, not so much, but the sibling bond is excellent. And each of the books in the series are about a different sibling finding love. And it's very sweet and a totally unique paranormal romance. I haven't read anything else like it. So that's it for now. That's five different paranormal romance series that I really enjoyed. They're all very different from each other and I hope that you can find something that you like. And if you were hoping for shifters or vampires, please stick around and subscribe because I will be posting those videos soon. Thank you. Bye.